The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and also with you. Let us pray. Eternal God, our creator and redeemer, as you gladdened the wedding at Cana in Galilee by the presence of your son, so by his presence, now bring your joy to this wedding. Look in favor upon Crystal and Daniel and grant that they rejoicing in all your gifts may at length celebrate with Christ the marriage feast which has no end. Amen. This is a verse from 1 Corinthians 13, verses four to eight. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Crystal and Daniel, you finally made it. All the planning's done and now it's time to get you two married. Family and friends have gathered from across the country to let you know how much you are loved. Even Potato made it. So you know it's gonna be a celebration. In just a few minutes, you will exchange vows and rings and become husband and wife. So take a deep breath and treasure this moment together. Crystal and Daniel, love and marriage is a journey shared by two people. Now, when I see the way that you two look at each other, it's hard for me to imagine a time that you weren't a couple, but it's true. At one point you were walking your own paths until that day on the softball field when everything changed. Daniel introduced himself. You threw the ball around the outfield and a friendship quietly began to develop. As the days went on, you began spending more and more time together on and off the field. Lunches and dinners were added to the games. Evenings were filled with long talks on the phone. Something began to change in your relationship and your love for each other sprouted and grew and flourished. As seasons changed and time moved forward, your individual journeys became more and more intertwined. Your relationship became stronger. I'm sure you had a few bumps along the road, but somehow it seemed better to share those bumps together to support each other. And you found that your struggles were lessened as you supported one another. And that only made your joys greater. You both knew that the two of you were meant to be together, which I guess brings us to where we are today. This incredible moment in your journey together. From this day forward, your journey will always be shared. In vows of love and faithfulness, you pledge to walk hand in hand every step of the journey. In the exchange of rings, you pledge your love for eternity. Even as a circle has no end, may your compassion and kindness for each other always be like the ring which has no beginning and no ending. Crystal and Daniel love each other always. Be patient, be kind, because it doesn't really matter who the best softball player is anyway. Look at the trade. What matters, what matters is that together you make the strongest, most loving team. Love and marriage is a journey. Take time on that journey to stop along the way. Remember the moments on love's journey, playing catch in the outfield, the long talks, and the moment you exchange vows and rings today. Take time to treasure the gift of love and the quiet times that so many take for granted. Then take time to dream, to dream of future days growing together through the seasons of life. If you do these things, and I know you will, your journey as husband and wife will be blessed with true love as long as you both shall live. Daniel, 
Do you take this woman to be your wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you both shall live? I do. Crystal, do you take this man to be your wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you both shall live? I do. Crystal and Daniel, since it is your intention to share with each other your joys and sorrows and all that the years will bring, with your promises, bind yourselves to each other as husband and wife. Crystal, I knew from the very first moment I saw you that I would make every effort to be near you. You say our relationship started with you worried about hurting me while playing softball. I say it was being a friendly face to welcome you to the softball team. <laughs> but the truth is, our relationship really began with those hour-long coffee rants at work. Those rants eventually turned into day-long chats, spending time together on the softball field, lunches in Berkeley Heights, and phone calls late at night. I woke up each morning excited to talk to you, and eight years later, that feeling still holds true. I can't imagine that when you walked onto that field that day, you thought that the first person you talked to would be standing across from you today. But indeed, here I am. Here I stand, promising to give you all of my love and respect, vowing to dedicate myself completely to you. I promise to never forget that before you and I were partners, you were your own person. A beautiful woman with her own thoughts, goals, feelings, and dreams. And though becoming my partner brings with it new thoughts, goals, feelings, and dreams, becoming your husband doesn't mean I'll forget who you are and what made me originally fall in love with you. You're an intelligent, beautiful, kind, and caring woman who never judged me for being who I was and have shown me love without condition. I'll strive to nurture you every day by supporting you during the highs and help carrying you during the lows. In times of strife, I promise not to be, to belittle or be defensive, rather to be vulnerable and communicate how I feel and to never lose sight that you are my best friend. Whether you need a shoulder to cry on, an ear to listen, or a friend to relax with, I vow to support you as you need because I know you will do the same for me. The past three years have shown that our future can be unpredictable, but they've also shown me that there is no other person I'd rather be with. I'm eager to continue our journey together and look forward to spending the rest of my days with you. I love you. Daniel, you are my best friend, my favorite person, my travel partner, and I love you more than words can express, but I'm going to try. Ever since we first met on the corporate softball team, I knew you were going to be someone special in my life. Now I know you will say that your spectacular softball skills were what swept me off my feet. Strap. <laughs> and others might think that it was your incredible baking abilities that stole my heart. While I appreciate your ambition to stretch singles into doubles so that I don't ground into fielder's choices, and while I do think that your carrot cake is the most delicious thing on this planet, what I love most about you is how comfortable and at ease you make me feel when we are together. You make me laugh until my cheeks hurt from smiling so hard. Always make sure that I am well taken care of, especially when it comes to food. And never let me forget how beautiful and amazing you think I am. Over the last seven years, you have shown me a love that is pure, real, and everlasting. As we continue this journey through life together, I promise to be the best teammate I can be to you, to support you in the home runs and the strikeouts, to encourage you to follow your dreams, to pick you up when errors are made, to practice patience when either of us are in a slump, to celebrate the victories and mourn the losses with you, whether they are big or small. When life throws us curveballs, I know we'll be able to battle through it together if we communicate and remember to prioritize our happiness and put our love first. I promise not to take our time together for granted, to not rush through life's little moments, and to become comfortable with not always having a plan to follow. I vow to be loyal to you, learn from you, grow with you, respect you, and love you unconditionally. I am so lucky that we get to adventure through life together, and I can't wait to chase sunsets with you for the rest of our lives. The couple would now like to exchange rings. A brief excerpt from Chief Black Elk, holy man of the Oglala Sioux. The sun comes forth and goes down again in a circle. The moon does the same and both are round. Even the seasons form a great circle in their changing and always come back again to where they were. Everything an Indian does is in a circle, and that is because the power of the world always works in circles, and everything tries to be round. The wedding ring is a circle, 
It has no beginning and no end, and therefore it is a symbol of eternity. May these rings forever remind you of your pledge to one another. May your compassion and kindness for one another always be like these rings with no beginning and no end. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. And with this ring. And with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. And with this ring. And with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. Source of love, pour down your grace upon Crystal and Daniel, that they may fulfill the vows they have made this day and grow ever closer in love as long as they both shall live. Use us to support their life together. Give them power and patience, affection and understanding, courage and love toward each other and toward the world. Amen. Crystal and Daniel, by their promises before God and in the presence of this gathering, have bound themselves to one another as husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, keep you in his light and truth and love now and forever. Amen. It is now my honor and privilege to be the first to present to you the newlyweds, Daniel and Crystal. You may now kiss the bride.
More importantly, and Pastor Ed mentions this in his uh, words here, that, you know, watching how you care and love Crystal. So that's really what's most important to me. So I've known Crystal all of her life, of course, and I've seen the happiness and the love in her eyes when you two are together. So I knew this day would come one day that I might have to share that number one spot in her heart. But I know because of who you are and the man that you are that I'm willing to share that spot with you. So please, if you would join me in wishing Crystal and Dan all the joy, love, and happiness that the world has to offer to Crystal and Dan. It clicked for me that Dan and Crystal and their lifetime of being guardian older siblings were perfect for each other. Their compassionate personalities honed by years of annoying younger siblings were perfect matches. Five years later, I'm not at all surprised that we're here today and I look forward to many, many more. Cheers. I knew Dan would fit right in with their family when he's able to handle our chaotic game nights. And like my dad said, when he baked us his famous carrot cake for almost every family gathering and birthday celebration. Dan, thank you for showing my sister endless love and support. <laughs> the beauty of Crystal and Dan's love is something words cannot fully describe. So let's give a toast to my beautiful sister and awesome brother-in-law. I wish you a lifetime of happiness and I can't wait to see what the future holds. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>